What's up guys, Noah from Template FC here, bringing you guys part four of creating concept kits for beginners, brought to you by footballshirtculture.com and designfootball.com. And in this video, we are gonna be covering texturing um, and adding some 3D effects to logos. So basically, we're gonna start with logos and I'm gonna show you how to get some three-dimensional looking effects on the different logo aspects on your mock-up. And then we're gonna go into some textures that you can add to your designs to give it a certain material look. So we actually have a free product on Template FC called the Patch Builder, free patch builder as you can see here. And it comes with a PSD and all the layer styles. And you can see we have a tutorial covering this if you just wanna find out how to do that more in depth. Um, and basically if you open up the PSD, you have something like this and you have all the layer styles here that you can go ahead and copy them. So if we open these up, you could right click, copy layer style and paste them to your logo. Now there's also the option to install the ASL file which will add the layer styles to your layer style library. Um, so basically what that means, if we go to our front design and we open up our logo, the Manchester United logo, um, and I'm just gonna go and res, uh, go to the default list and go to style. If we go down, you can see the patch maker layer styles. You can open these up. And the, 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 this is basically all the layer styles that we'll install. Now to install those layer styles, I think you just have to drag that file onto Photoshop and it will install for you, I believe. Um, but uh, maybe you can also import styles here from the cog wheel and then select that file right there. To install those layer styles in Photopea then, uh, you just wanna double click a layer, get your layer styles up, come here to this box, hit that arrow, and then this should be blank and then hit this arrow and load ASL. And then you'll be able to select that ASL file and it will install all of the um, layer styles for you. And then you should be good to go. So one of those ways will work for sure. And then you have all the layer styles here. I think this is the easier way to do it um, because uh, just personally going to the layer styles is a lot easier than copying and pasting from the PSD. So we're gonna go ahead and close out of that PST then because we're gonna use the layer styles and let's zoom in on our Manchester United logo. Now, I like to separate these by color and um, you could just double click this, go to styles, go on down to one of these and select them and you could be good to go. Like that's gonna look fine. You may have to make some adjustments because this is a smaller logo than the file. So you might have to come into say shadow and increase the shadow a little bit to get more of that 3D effect. Uh, and maybe in this one, we knock down the opacity, stuff like that. But I like to separate these in colors so you get the different looks from the yellow and red. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead to the quick select tool and let's select, mm, this actually is a more complicated logo. So let's go to the select color range and let's click on the yellow and that will select all the yellow click OK and I'm just gonna on that layer press command C and command V and now we have the yellow layer and we could do that for as many layers as we want so uh, let's go ahead and actually do the black next command C command V Ooh. You can see it's copying and pasting it over off to the side. So let's drag it back. Cool, there we go. I'm gonna drag that one to the top. We're gonna call this B for black, Y for yellow, and M for main, and then group them and call it logo. Cool, and then let's open that up and we'll start with the main one here. Um, so this is basically the red so let's go to our styles and the, all the different styles basically have different textures on them to get different looks. So you can see this one has um, kind of a polyester looking pattern to it, I would say. Um, but you can scroll through and find ones that you like. Now they're a little subtle, so I'm not sure if the recording is gonna pick them up that well. Um, but I'll let you know when I have one that I like. And this one's pretty cool. So this middle one, third from the right. And we want this one to have a pretty big drop shadow. So let's go to drop shadow, increase it like we did a few minutes ago. 
so it's visible like that cool actually this, we'll, we'll go to four and maybe knock down the opacity just a bit cool and if you want the texture to stand out more you can go to the bevel and emboss and either increase the screen and opacity or or go to the texture and go to depth and increase that and both of those will work if you can't see your uh, pattern you can come to the scale as well and bump it up but i like it how it is so we're going to leave it here trap shadow is good the gradient overlay uh, is fine inner shadow let's make sure that looks good uh, be sure to just check these on and off to see what you think looks good by the way that will always be a process of this but i think we're good there let's click ok and you can either double click go back to the layer style for these other layers or just right click copy and paste them to these layers and you can see this is looking a little funky um, which it will when you do this but let's go ahead and uncheck the black for now and just work with the yellow so let's open that up i like to go to texture and change texture now i actually don't know if these will install when you install the layer styles i think they will but um, let's just go to the texture and find one that's slightly different. Okay, I like this one, um, the, the lines going on an angle. Um, we don't need the drop shadow for this one or the next one, and you can see that will help clean this up a lot. Um, the texture, I'm gonna knock down the depth to maybe seven. Inner shadow is fine, gradient is fine. Bevel and emboss, um, we're going to decrease the depth on that. I think that's good. Uh, let's click OK. Let's open up the black now. Double click, hide the drop shadow once again. I'm going to go to the bevel and boss, knock down the screen a bit. And everything else should be fine. I actually want the line texture though. Let's see this one. I like um, it's hard to see things on black, especially this thin. So the texture is kind of useless in this scenario, but we're going to leave it on. Click OK and let's zoom out a bit. You can see we have a bit of a three dimensional looking logo. And then I like to go to the main one, copy that layer style and we'll paste that to our Adidas logo. Now the Adidas logo already has some layer styles on it, but we want these to match a little more. So we're going to do that. And cool, maybe we actually go to the bevel and emboss and knock down the white a bit though. Okay, click okay. Let's save that and come back to our mockup. Zoom in a little bit. And you can see that gives it that three dimensional look. So it pops just a little bit more and just looks a little nicer. And you can do that to the sleeve logo too. Um, you can see it's already a bit uh, done on the Adidas stripes. And you could do this to the sponsor logo, although these are fairly flat and plain in real life. So you don't have to go too crazy with that. Um, but that's how you add some depth to the logo. Now we want to add some texture to the actual jersey. So I have this knit kind of polyester pattern here. And you can find a bunch of patterns and textures online. Also, you will have a bunch from that um, layer style thing we just installed. So if I go to my patterns, you can see I have a bunch of these ones from the layer styles that we could use. So I think the I think that one's pretty good. Uh, da, 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 da. This one's pretty good and that one's pretty good. Um, I, I also like this one. So there's a lot of good ones there if you install that, but I really like this like knit look. So uh, what I'm gonna do is you could just drag this over, but I'm gonna go to edit, define pattern. And yeah, we'll call this knit click OK and let's go to the front design. Let's go to the top of our design element. So this is the top most of our jersey design. Let's go down here and go to pattern and let's go and select the latest pattern, which is that one we just created. Um, it's pretty small, but I think that's actually a good size for what we're doing. Yeah. So we're going to do that. Let's zoom in a bit and we're going to set the layer style to um, I'm thinking multiply in this case, so let's zoom out. You can see it darkens it up a lot. So let's um, go multiply and decrease the opacity. Zoom in, make sure it's still visible. Yeah, it is. You can see it's just subtle enough to look good. Um, and you could increase it. You could have it stand out more, less. It's completely up to you, but you would want to add these to the front and the sides and sleeves. Um, you can always mix up the textures too, so they're made out of different materials. That's always a neat look. 
Um, but you can see this is a very subtle one and this is what I like to do typically. It gives you a more accurate look to what you want. And if we come back over, you can see what it looks like. And I think that looks real good. Um, now I'm gonna just go ahead and crank it up real fast so you guys can see what that looks like when it's real heavy. And you can see we have that texture going on. Um, and it's really strong with this one. I actually kind of really like it when it's like that. And you can of course mix, uh, mess with the layer styles. You don't have to use multiply. There's other ones that this might look good for. So feel free to experiment and mess around and depending on the texture you're going with, uh, you might find something better down here. So be sure to mess around. That's basically it for the texturing part of this guys though. I hope you enjoy. If you do, please leave a like. Be sure to check out the other parts in the next episode. We're gonna be covering mock-up adjustments. So to make adjustments to the smart objects and the um, masking, color correction, stuff like that. So be sure to check that out. Whenever you finish your designs, by the way, be sure to go to designfootball.com and upload them for the community to see. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.